you guys. How are you? First of all, happy Father's Day to all you dads and, and fathers and father figures. Mwah. Hope you're enjoying your day. Um, still have a lot to go. And you know what? For all of you um, who have your fathers yet, um, give them a big hug and say thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Um, um, my dad passed away in 2001, but, um, I'm going to do, um, just a, a special drink. My dad didn't drink, wasn't a drinker. He didn't drink a lot, but when he did, he drank whiskey and sour. And I think maybe he drank three times a year. I know we, when we always go to fish fries up in McConnell, Illinois, had the, oh my God, the best fish and chicken fries. I don't even think they're around anymore, but oh my God, it was so amazing. And yes, I got something in my eye. But um, I remember him and my mom would always get like a one whiskey and sour. And I don't have sour, but I do have the Coke. And um, since we are doing McDonald's International uh, food today, we're going to do the blended Canadian whiskey. So I guess I do like whiskey. I must take after my mom and dad. But um, my dad, uh, he would, um, at, uh, when he got older, they, he found these little cans of beers. I mean, they had maybe five sips in them. He just thought that was so great and that was cool. So sometimes when he was out working in the fields when it was really hot, he'd come in and have a little beer. That was cute. But anyway, cheers to you, my dad. And to all you dads out there, cheers. Mm. but yay anyway okay keep on rocking you dads and since I know a lot of people grill on Father's Day I got I got the burgers I thought they had three international burgers but um they, they had two I went to Hermosa oh my gosh it took a long time to wait on me too I gotta say Okay, so now I got the mozzarella chicken one. Um, I believe that this one is the Canadian one, and then we have the bacon. I'm not for sure. Maybe it'll say on my certificate, but I'm. I was trying to read what they all were, and it didn't really say. Let me look here. Um. Okay, so we got the Mc extreme bacon. That must be Spain's right here. Okay, I guess, let, me cut, ooh, let me put that down for you. So that would be this one. Whoa, let's see. I got forks and spoons. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry too. So this is the, I guess the extreme one. Um, I guess it's got a smoky sauce to this one. Bacon and Gouda, I believe, is the Spain thing. It looks like, um, yeah, Gouda looks... Looks like it is with some onions. Can't go wrong with the onions, you guys. Woohoo! And then, this is Canada's. This is the tomato mozzarella chicken. Now, you could get, she said, I thought she said fried or grilled. I'm not for sure. I guess I got the fried. Oh, that's an onion. But, yeah. It's got lettuce, onions, the mozzarella cheese, and the chicken. Now, on the commercial, maybe this is somebody different. It had one had um, mozzarella with parmesan. So I don't know if this is it. I'm totally confused. I don't know if those are already gone. Maybe they were limited edition, whatever. But right now it looks like that one looks the best so far. The mix extreme bacon. But also, now these are from Australia, not from, I didn't go there or send Postmates out, but the cheesy bacon fries, I've never had these. I've heard mixed reviews on them, so I'm like, oh, I don't know. Let me try them. I will try them myself because you guys know I am a bacon connoisseur. Should be the ambassador to bacon worldwide. But um, so this is how they came. Not really a great presentation, and I didn't, I didn't dump my bag or anything. But um, I guess this is what maybe the forks are for. So let me just kind of get 
that down a little bit. I mean, yeah, I could put it on a plate, but I'm not going to. Okay. Very important to get your food in the way that is easiest for you to get at, right? Right, okay. There we go. Okay. Um, also, first time I've been on this couch in forever. Why, you ask? It was dirty. My cushions were dirty, and I thought, I know I've had them uh, cleaned by the carpet guy, but that cost like a couple hundred bucks, and I'm like, oh, I know I wanted to get the carpet done, but I didn't really want to spend it, so I've been living with like things that had been spilled on the couch, maybe shoes were on the couch. And then one day, I mean, this has been like this a while. One day I'm like, wait, I, thought, I saw a zipper right back here, you guys. Oh my gosh, you can zip them, and it says you can wash them, don't dry them. It looks like a brand new couch, you guys. I'm not kidding you, so I'll be doing more on the couch, because this couch is just really, really comfortable, I'm going to say. Okay, so let's try the fries first, because they're really only good when they're hot. And I did just come from them. Or it's just a regular fry. Okay, so... We're going to see if the bacon is real, first off. That's a pretty good representation, I think, of it, don't you think? Okay. Mm. You know, it's not bad. The bacon is actually pretty good. The cheese. And the cheese tastes a little weird. Now, I know they don't have anything. I don't think it's melted cheese. I think it's like like a cheese whiz sort of thing. I don't think it's cheese whiz, but I'm sure it's what McDonald's has. But I don't know. I want to get them again. Because McDonald's just has awesome fries on their own. But mm, they're okay. Not as good as in and out animal fries. Mm -hmm. No. But I'm hungry, so I'll eat a couple more. You know what? Just eat the, where all the good stuff is in there. Can you see? It's only like in that little hole. So. Okay. If you're wondering what this whole meal cost me, it's seventeen dollars and thirty eight cents. Cause they're like, oh, a large cup was only a buck. That's that's the deal. That's cool. Okay. So we resituate re this. Is that anything? As you can tell, I always got my phone not too far away from me and my remote. I don't know. I've always got to have my TV on. Are you guys like that? I don't know. Maybe you are. But I'm gonna wait on the Spain burger right here. So they must Spain burger. We're gonna go with Canada next. I don't even think I've had a fried chicken from McDonald's. So this looks like a good bite, right? Right there. Looks like I'll get everything in it and the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. No. There's sauce in that. I'm not for sure. I think, I'm, I don't know. I don't really am digging this. I'm tasting a, a lot of different, different tastes. And that sauce especially, I don't know if that's a smoky sauce one or what it is, but mm, not my favorite. I do love how the bun isn't really big, but you know what? My bun is hard. I don't really like that. But first of all, I'm taking a bath in the sauce. Mm. I wouldn't get that, you guys. 
necessarily McDonald's, but I don't know. It's a sauce. You have to acquire taste, whatever that what's in that sauce. And it's not telling me on my receipt. It's just saying it's a tomato mozzarella chicken crispy. Okay, now I have high hopes. High hopes for you, Spain. This little Spanish, Spanish burger um, called the Big Extreme Bacon. Um, and you know what? They, they did pretty good, uh, well done on the bacon. Not well done, but medium well. I mean, I hate it when it's all like uh, just the fatty, fatty, blubbery stuff. I mean, I had some. Where I would order from other, I can't even remember the fast food places. It's been so long, but I would just have to take the bacon off because I just couldn't get it in. But, okay, I love Gouda. You guys know I love Gouda. I like burgers. I like bacon. Onions. And this might be the smoky sauce, but we'll see. If not, you should probably order these plain. Mm. Messy. Um, definitely Spain is better than the Canada burger. But, I, you know what? Uh, McDonald's, I almost said Burger King. <laughs> uh, McDonald's, you gotta stick to your Big Macs and what you know best. This is not that good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, that's disappointing. Out of everything, you guys, it's the fries that are the winners. Woo! And then Spain and then Canada. Australia, you did good. I don't even know why they call them this, but obviously the McDonald's in Spain must have this on their menu all the time. The burger in Australia must have this because this is like so American. But you know, I have been hungry for is a real apple pie. Oh. I'm so hungry for one with ice cream. Mm. Here's the longest drive. I think they have um, Guinness Book of Work is the world's longest fry. The only time I thought I had it, but what are you going to do? There's no, you know, there's no ruler. By the time you get to home, it would break. So, there you have it. Well, I guess truth be told, I wasn't missing anything by not trying these. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a little extremely disappointed but it's okay I got full of what I ate I'll milk this till the end of the evening and on to a fresh week tomorrow I'm now doing swim classes four times a week I feel I, I really like it you know I, I like the people I'm in the pool with I like the instructor it's a new instructor tomorrow new classes so that's what I'm doing up you know, I did my weights, but just after that, it's just so relaxing to pull. Although, I, we do work hard. And you know what? They always say, oh, well, you know, that's for old people. But, you know, you only get results for as hard as you work. And I work really hard in the water because it's, it's you know, so much easier for me and for all, for all of us to, um, you know, it's not as much pressure on your joints and everything. So, it's something I like. Try it out. If you guys think it wasn't for you, just try it. It, it is really fun. I thought that too, but it is what you make it like life. It is what you make it. Right? Right. All right. So this ends my international McDonald's burger and fry taste test. Kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but luckily I got the Coke, got my whiskey, in the coke. As, did you guys notice I didn't put as much in? I don't 
try, I'm trying to get away from less drinking. It doesn't make my body feel that much better. Not that it ever did. And I would just drink for the taste. So I've tried to get other um, things around like the Gatorades, Zeros, of course, in that. And uh, occasionally a, a Diet Vanilla Coke because I love that because it reminds me of a Coke uh, shake. But anyway, okay, you guys, I'm going to sign out. I just want to say hi to all the dads and um, I love you all and um, yeah stay tuned I have some <coughs> no I'm not choking some other ideas for videos that hopefully you'll be interested in one being my match.com date just saying but anyway I didn't really even take it uh, My thumbnail, but it's okay. Let me do this. Okay. We gotta go. Love you guys. I didn't get anything on my clean couch, so we're good. We're good to go. So if you're wondering if you have zipper uh, cushions, check them out because you can just put them in the washing machine, you guys. All right. Ow, ow, ow. As you see, I got my sweatpants on. But until next time, oh, duh. Until next time, I love you all so very much. Bye. Bye-bye.